Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Shaloha Creations. Today we're going to make a bell out of a scuba tank. Now I've already filmed this once already and the beginning of the video was a disaster so I figured I'd go ahead and re-video it. Uh, this is a later date and then we'll cut back into the original video. Uh, the things that I, I wanted to go over were some safety issues and so obviously we're cutting into a tank and you don't just want to grab any tank willy-nilly and just start cutting into it with a torch or a grinder or anything. So before you cut into a tank, know what was in it, know if it's under pressure. Uh, in this case, because we're cutting in a scuba tank, they are usually under high pressure unless it's already been released. So the first thing that you want to do is release the pressure from the tank. And that's just a simple turning of the knob and releasing the air out of the tank. All right, once you have released all the pressure from the tank, the next step is to take the valve off. And the valve off, com the valve off, the valve comes off pretty easy. Uh, you clamp the tank down, put a wrench on the valve itself, and it just unthreads. Once the valve is off, you're good to go. Okay, and the last thing that I didn't film right in the last video was to show the uh, contraption I've made here to be able to cut the bottom off of my tank. Now I use a plasma cutter to cut my tanks. Um, and all it is is a, is a dolly that I've flipped upside down and tacked the wheels into place so that when I put the tank on it, I can spin it. Now that the tank is inside the cradle and is able to spin, I've taken my plasma cutter torch and I've made this block that it can sit up against. And it just gives me something to hold it against so that when I rotate the tank, it stays in one position and is able to make a clean, even cut around the base of the tank. Uh, I'm not going to cut this tank yet. Uh, this is for another project, but you guys get the idea. So let's go ahead and cut to the original video. Okay, once you get the bottom cut off this thing, the next step here is just to, I just basically uh, I cut a piece of paper here and uh, about the size of the tank. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply roll this up, roll the tank up into the piece of paper. Nice. I've got, um, my marks kind of laid out where I want them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out on the lines where I want those marks cut out and go from there. Okay, so I'll take this curve, transfer it over here, see how far I was off. So I got basically where I want it. Rough idea. Nice and cut out. Take our tank, Gonna roll her up again. Let's get that edge on there. Not make the same mistake we made last time. Might even get a piece of tape ready. Okay, there it is. Now we we'll just transfer these markings to the uh, tank itself. We we'll just take our good old sharpie here. It's down. may need it again. But let's see, yep. I think we got it on there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be awesome, right? Who's ready to make some fire? This guy. Now ain't that pretty? 
Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but the tank is galvanized. And I actually want to rust this tank. It's going to be similar to this tank, which I've already done. Um, so I want to get that galvanizing off. The best or easiest way I should say to do that for me, erratic acid. Uh, you can get this at any place where they have pool supplies. And what we're going to do is I just filled up a bucket full of water. I'm going to put some of this muriatic acid in here. Uh, <clears throat> three to one, two to one is usually pretty good. There we go. Now it's bubbling. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, it's been 24 hours since the bell has been in the acid. Uh, obviously the bell didn't fit in the bucket. Uh, completely submerged, so I had to flip it over um, halfway through. And so that's why one side you can see is, is kind of rusted here. But uh, that's fine, because we're going to be rusting it anyway. So it's just giving me a head start. Um, but look how nice and clean it looks right as after it comes out of the acid. It's pretty neat and nice and shiny back down to the bare metal. Um, so anyway, this is a good starting point and uh, we'll go from here. And of wood for a gong. Aha! Some more walnut. And this piece is chewed up a little bit and perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can get a gong out of that. Go with this. Going over here.
Okay, quick tip. If you want to get rust off of metal, don't do what I'm about to do. <laughs> what I'm about to do is show you how to rust metal quickly. Uh, this will put a nice rust pantene on steel very quickly. In a few days, it'll have a nice orange to reddish, you know, rust color to it. Uh, and the best combination that I found for that is vinegar, a little bit of dish soap, salt, and peroxide. Okay, I'm going to show you how to rust this up. This is the solution that we had mixed up that I talked about earlier. We're just going to squirt it on here. And you'll see this thing already start to transform before, right before your eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but it's already starting to get a pantina on it. Look at the top there. See that rust forming already? Yep. Okay, so it's been overnight, and you can see already the uh, rust that is formed on here. It's starting to get a little bit more of an even coat. It's starting to look nice. That'll work. Uh, before I put this in there though, I do want to put a finish on the wood itself and I just use this uh, wood paste finish wax and it goes on pretty easy. Wipe it on, let it dry, wipe it off and you can put a few coats on. I like to put it on real thick at first, just like this. After you've waxed it up and you've waited a few minutes, go ahead and take a nice clean rag, get in there and just rub all that wax in and off. And if you give it a nice kind of a buff, it'll it'll actually shine up. I'll show you in a minute. See this shine getting on there? Yeah. I'm gonna rub it. Rub it good. I'm gonna rub your ball good. This is a kid show. Dirty minds. So there you have it, one scuba tank bell. I think it turned out great. I actually like the color that it is right now. Um, but it's eventually gonna actually turn into one uniform color. Uh, the rust is gonna continue to do its thing. Um, but I think it turned out beautiful. In fact, it has a, a beautiful ring as well. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this build and you'd like to see me do some more, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, we'll continue doing this. And as always, Shaloha.